Hi, welcome to another in the Simba Technical Video Series. Today we're going to talk about the Enerchip RTC Evaluation Kit, the CBC Eval 12. It's a great kit to be able to test this brand new part from Simbit. Let's take a look first at the Enerchip RTC and then we'll come back around and look at the evaluation kit. The Enerchip RTC combines an ultra low power real time clock with an Enerchip rechargeable solid state battery and power management IC in a tiny 5x5 five five millimeter plastic package that uses surface mount assembly and is reflow solderable. Two buses are supported, both SPI bus and I2C bus. Let's take a look inside the part. This internal photo of the Enerchip RTC shows the Enerchip rechargeable solid state battery bare die on the left, the real time clock bare die in the upper right hand corner, and the power management I see in the lower right hand corner. The Enerchip RTC is an excellent example of how Enerchip solid state batteries can be combined with other integrated circuits in a single package. So now that you understand the part, let's take a look at the Eval 12. I'll hold it up to the camera here. So you can see that the kit is in two parts. The first part is a USB stick that's going to go into the PC. The second part is the Eval 12 tab board and here we have the CBC 34123 Enerchip real-time clock on this tab. It plugs into the Eval 12 just like that and we're going to place that in the PC. Now, Simbit has tabs for each of the Enerchip RTCs, the 34123, 34803, and the 34813. There's three different Eval 12 kits you can purchase, but you can also get the tabs separately if you'd like to experiment with the various clocks. So it's as simple as connecting them together and place it in the PC. So let's take a look first at how we're going to download the software for the kit. In order to get the documentation and proper software for the kit, you need to go to Simbit.com. Head to the Products menu and scroll down to the Enerchip RTC and select that page. Here you first see the three Enerchip RTC devices and then here you have the three Eval 12 kits listed. One of the first things you'll want to do is load the kit data sheet. This PDF document has all the information you need to uh, bring up the software and use the kit. So please download this first and familiarize yourself with the contents because it will make it much easier to install the software and use the kit with the PC graphical user interface software. In order to download the software, you go ahead and select the Eval 12 PC GUI software either from this page or it is also on under the products page all documents and downloads when you click there this page has all of Simbit's information on all of our app notes data sheets white papers how-to documents and down at the bottom are the source files for the software this first entry here says CBC Eval 12 PC graphical user interface software you click on that and download the zip file to your PC let's take a look at what that looks like over on the laptop. I have now downloaded the zip file to my PC, unzipped the file, and did the installation according to the data sheet. Remember to load the USB driver first and then do the setup for the eval software. I'm now going to click on the desktop icon for the eval 12 and it opens up the window. We'll look at the details in a second. I then take my Eval 12 and insert it in a USB port. As you'll see in a moment where I'll focus in on the card, there are two lights that light up, one on the USB stick and one on the tab. That means the unit is powered up. We then go over and click on connect and the card is found. Let's zoom in on the details on the screen now. I will briefly go through the Eval 12 software. You can see the main fields here are the time on the RTC, the date, 
And then there's a countdown timer function we'll use in just a second. You can display the time in either 12 hour, 24 hour format. You can use the system time for the PC or you can use Zulu time in a 24 hour format. In the upper left hand corner are the menu controls for the device. Here you can set the real time clock time and date. You can set the countdown timer. You can show all the real time clock registers which is a very useful capability for programming the real time clock. And about when you click it gives you the information on the tab board in terms of its serial number and lot so you know exactly which device you're talking to. This button here, the RTC EC power button, controls power to the Eval 12. You can see here I've put my Eval 12 on a USB extender and I'm going to click that button on and off. You can see the LED on the tab board is extinguished and then when I power it up it's lighted up again. So what's happening is right now the system's under power, the inner chip is being charged and the real-time clock is using the USB input power. When I turn the power off now the real-time clock is being battery backed up by the inner chip. And again, depending on the Enerchip RTC you use, that ranges anywhere from up to 30 to over 100 hours of backup time. Let's turn the power back on. And what we're going to do now is we're going to set the countdown timer. You can set values here from 0 to 255. We'll set it at 255 and have it starting to count down. You can see it's counting down. That's the register value we set inside the eval 12. Let's go ahead and turn off the power. So now the countdown timer is still counting down inside the real-time clock powered by the inner chip, but the system's frozen since communications has stopped. We've essentially taken power off the tab board. Now when we put the power back on, we'll see the countdown value timer is now 225, and essentially we had it turned off for about 10 seconds, so you could see that the countdown timer was still running on the RTC, but it was not being displayed since we turned the power off. Let's review the real-time clock register feature here. Here you can see that every register in the real-time clock can be examined and the bit set or the bit reset. So what this allows the designer to do is set any of these register bits as if you were writing to it with software. You click the set register button and that will set the register. So this is a fantastic way to both get the register values at any time and set the register values. This makes programming of the Enerchip RTC extraordinarily easy. So you can see this is a powerful evaluation kit that will allow you to quickly put the Enerchip RTC in your project. Remember that all the information is on Simbit.com for data sheets. For more information and if you ever need to contact us, you can always open up the support form and send us a note and we'll get right back to you. So I hope you enjoy your Evaluation 12 kit and look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.